Hello. Right, hello everybody. I am back. Streaming again. But back with a new game. Starfield is what I'm back with. I say this game came out, well, it came out for early access on, I think, the 1st of September 2023. But it officially comes out, guys, on the 6th of September 2023. So, yeah, if you want to grab it, guys. Yeah, if you want to grab it, it is available for early access. And bear with me a second. Let me just find out what platform this is available on. So, yeah, guys, you can play this on Xbox Series X and S and Microsoft and Windows. That's the only platforms you can actually play it on. But yeah, if you get the premium edition, guys, you can get early access. But if you want the standard edition, you've got to wait till the 6th of September 2023. So yeah, this is... Uh, yeah, this is... Uh, oh no, it's also available on Steam as well. So if you want to go and play on, on Steam, you can... But yeah, it's just Xbox Series X and S and Steam. And also Microsoft Windows. So bear with me a second. Let me just find out the prices for you. And yeah, the, this is made by the guys that um, made Skyrim as well. Bethesda, this is made by. So hopefully it's going to be pretty good. I uh, say so this is my first time looking at this game, guys. It is my first time. Let's bear with me a second. So yeah, if you want uh, the standard edition, it is $69.99. If you want the digital premium edition, it is $99.99. And if you've got the standard edition and you want early access on the standard edition, you can upgrade to the premium edition for $34.99. So, yeah, there we go. So that's all the prices are for it. And I believe on Steam it is probably a different price. I don't know how much it is on Steam, to be honest with you. So, yeah, new game. As I, I will be back, guys, this week at some point with the Call of the Wild. Uh, the Anglia game, I will be back at some point this week with that. I'm trying to do more free uh, stream cards. I don't know when that will be back. I don't have a clue. So, but yeah, there we go. I will put my social links down below, guys. I'll put the link to this game down below as well. If you want to know, guys, I'm playing this on an Xbox Series S. And I do apologise if there's any audio problems or FPS problems now, guys. I do completely and utterly apologise for any of that. But yeah, let's get into it, shall we? So yeah, once you get past this uh, start menu and all that, I'm probably going to get auto copyright for that music as well. So yeah, once you get through to this menu, guys, you've got new, you've got loading, you've got settings, you've got photo gallery, and you've got the people who made the game. I say, what I've done, guys, all I've done is just change the audio. That's all I've done. I haven't looked at the game or anything like that. So yeah, you'll be looking at it for the first time. I will be. But yeah, let's get into it, shall we? So yeah, do you want to start a new game? Yes, please. So yeah, let's get into it, shall we? Let's see what this game is like. Just gotta wait for it to load and stuff. Starfield. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. 
Mining's just like any other job. Go steady, go safe, go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, yeah, I work in the Star Dock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> one of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. Right, here we go. So yeah, your missions come up in the left-hand corner. Your health comes in the right bottom le bottom corner. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. But yeah, like I said, guys, I'm just gonna work through this game slowly. Keep your breathing steady and never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah. God forbid we drill on a rock with breathable atmosphere. Know what I love about working in Freestyle Collective Space? Pure red. A job like this in the United Colony? <laughs> Reams of red tape. Ugh. Look at this one over here. Calvert! No! Ah, no, no, no! It's a laser, not a sledgehammer! Ease up! Benning! If you got paid for a break, you'd be a millionaire! Let's go! Yeah, Let's yeah, go! Okay. What do we say, Dusties? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exceptions! Come on, pick it up! Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. Come on, with me. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I just gotta follow um, this person. Dusty, you're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. Metal deposits are in that cavern. I'll shout out when I need you. Okay, we've got the um, weapon. Okay, so we need to go down here and get these um, things down here. Uh, we'll go here first. Wow. Do you know what? I'm actually going to put the audio up a bit more. Because the audio seems to be so quiet. So we'll leave the music down because, well, the music's probably copyrighted as well. Hopefully 60% is enough. That's better. Okay, and then this lot over here as well. Excuse me. Okay. Oi. I swear someone just shot at me. I swear. Hello. I'm with you, am I? Excellent. 
Why did you just do that? Do, 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 words. Why did you just do that? And here we go. In three, two, two, one. one. I like that machine. I actually like it. Let's go. Come on then. Let's go. Ella, get the readings. Yeah, about that. Problem? Uh, not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. I don't. You don't? What we're after? It'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told anyway. Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Relax. Okay, that's jump. Job. Come on. I can't seem to put the thing away. The thing. We're getting close. I think. Yeah, everything is just... Lynn, seriously. Uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you. You're up. Something goes wrong in there. We'll come get you. Okay, we've got the torch. Yes, I do. Okay. Excuse me. Hello. Okay, my thing got too hot. Okay, I'm shooting at it, but nothing seems to be happening. Okay. Probably useful if I take the thing instead of, uh, Shoot at it. Whoa, that was insane. Okay, so we've got character customization. Okay. Take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Okay, so we can do char <laughs> character customization. So yeah, let's just go back to number one on the edge, shall we? So yeah, this is number one. So yeah, you can be males or females on this, which is pretty good. So that's number two, number three, number four, number five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, we're just going to go through these, uh, what the people look like. If there's anybody with a ponytail, I'd be actually really happy. Okay, she looks crazy with pink hair. Ah, uh, hang on. Number 30? Okay, that, that's one we could go for. No. Okay, there's also this one. Number 38? That's it. Uh, I'm going to go with number 30. So yeah, it's all the different people you've got. Ok, 
Okay. And then you can change the body posture and all that. We're going to keep the body posture as it is. Okay, you can change the skin tone. We're going to leave the skin tone as it is. Head shapes, we're going to leave that hair. Ah, you can actually change the hair as well. So number one is bold. I say, I'm not going to say the numbers, I'm just going to jump through the hair. So I'm not sure what number... Yeah, I'm going to... 24 seems to be alright. 25 seems to be alright. You know what, we're gonna go with um We're gonna go with twenty-four hair colour. So you can have all sorts of different hair colours as well. Okay, number eleven looks alright. Number thirteen looks alright. Fourteen So what we're going to go with number 13. You can change the eyes as well. So you've got 11 options for eyes. We're just going to keep the eyes as it is. Eye colour, you can change that, but we're going to leave the eye colour as it is. Eyebrows you can change. Eyebrow colour you can change. Forehead you can change, nose you can change, ears you can change, cheeks you can change, mouth you can change, uh, teeth you can change, jaw, chin, neck, jewellery, jewellery colour, that one, complexion, temp, complexion, scars, facial forms, tattoos, cheeks, lipstick, you can have that. Lipstick Ascents, Eyeshadow, yep. So you can see there is actually quite, so you've got Eyeliner and Dirt. We're just going to leave our character as it is. Background. So you've got quite a few backgrounds here. So you've got Beast Hunter, you've got Bouncer, you've got Bounty Hunter, you've got Chef, you've got Compact Medic, Cyber Runner, Cyber Mem, there. So bear with me a second. Yeah, you've got Diplomat, you've got Explorer, you've got Gangster, you've got Home Leader. No, Homesteader. Industrialist. Long Hauler. Pilgrim. Professional. Rob. Sorry, Robin. Sculptor. Soldier. Space Scoundrel. And then there, uh, that one. And then there's also a file not found as well. We're going to go with more of an explorer sort of uh, thing. Is what we're going to go for. And then you've got traits. So you can have all sorts of different traits. Do you know what? Trait number one is going to be dream home. Hero worshipped. And you know what? We'll go through raised universe as well. And then that should be fine. So yeah. Uh bear with me. So yeah, we'll name our character. So I'm not gonna put my uh channel name new. No. We're going to use my um, name that I use on Train Sim World as well. I there we go. Explorer was on your application. Must have been slow work when you don't have a ship. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Huh. 
Well, you passed out, that's for sure. Everything else? Probably just your brain playing tricks. Either way, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Ah, so that's how you can switch cameras. So yeah, that's what my character looks like. There we go. Hello. Our constellation contact is on approach. Wait. The explorers group? <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Hmm. Yeah, but come on. Exploring space? <laughs> Who does that anymore? Hello. Ain't the space Whoa. we've already got Hello. You don't look Yeah, as you can kind of see, guys, I do like looking around as well. For you to join? Fall for the fancy pamphlets? Oh, you can sit in the chair as well. Hey! Oh, hello. Alright, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. Okay. So what we need to do is equip our helmet. How do you do that? Skills. Inventory. Let's have a look. Uh, da, 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 looking for where helmet is. Select helmets. Helmets category. There you go. Helmet is there. All right, and out we go into the, whatever you want to call it, the abyss or something. Client is here. Let's go. Wow. The jumping's pretty good on this. Really? In a discovery class? That ship's older than this move. Come on. So I just felt like doing the jumpy jumpy thing. So B's to crouch. Yep. Okay, so you press X to get your weapon out, but you hold X to put your weapon away. Wait, I want to talk to you. Oh, for God's sake. Yes, it has. That mine on Bindi, right? Kazal. Hellhole. Like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new girl found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bindi? Kazal. And no, Barrett, not cool. She passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right? Went on a trip, huh? Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing. Or you ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I'd lost them. Barrett? Oh, really? Hold off the pirates. Yeah, where's my weapon? Where's. Oh, okay, gotta go over here, grab a weapon. 
No, put that away. Don't do that. Okay, what's in here? No, I want to check. All right, let's um. Hello. Right, bear with me a second. Don't do that. Right, uh, let's go to inventory, weapons. There we go. Gotta equip the weapon. There we go. It's now it's now appeared. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We're getting shot at. Weapon requires ammo. Ammo. There we go. We gotta be glad to actually get a um, a rifle. Wait, where are you going? Come here, come here. Haha, -ha, got ya. Explosion! Thank you. Oi! Why are you living using your laser? Detecting signs of life from the enemy. Well, that was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. Marvelous. Oh no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? Oh right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, I, I know, I know, but she's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as she touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Here Those glitches, here, guys, right? are part of the, um, game, not the, uh... Now that we've been attacked? Oh. We've got to pack up and move on. Argos will come for the rest of us. You get going. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well, now that that's settled. Vasco, get her to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again? Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. I believe you were actually meant to give that to me, but you were looking the opposite hey, direction. Look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? 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 Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, 
We're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer with your help. They're just following the loot, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. And Vasco, don't let her. Okay, off we go. <laughs> yeah, and as you can see, the map's in the bottom left hand corner as well. Ah. Okay. Going up into the ship. Captain Annabelle, I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields, just in case there are any difficulties. Okay, so we're off flying now. Shields ready. The rest is up to you. Okay, we're taking off. Hey, we got an achievement. First time entering space. Now that we are in orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Okay. So press left and right to select the ship system. Press up and down to allocate the power. Your ship, you can skip this tutorial by powering up all systems and, okay. Okay, so if you look in the bottom left hand corner guys, I'm flicking between the systems down below. Each system on a ship requires power. Allocating power is under your direct control. Let's go over the engines. Engines control our maximum speed. Try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. A ship's engine has a sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. Boosts can be engaged for temporary bursts of speed. Okay, that's what I'm doing. I'm boosting the speed. Let's turn our attention to the shields. Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage. Without a hull, but be vaporized. Shield health is displayed in the lower right. Hull damage is below it. Okay. Basically what I'm doing, I'm shooting at it now. If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can log in to fire a homing missile. Oi! Where are you going? The enemy shields are down, Captain. Focus take weaponry, etc. 
cells are damaging the hull once shields are offline. Okay. Wait, come here. Just bloody shit. I am dead. I don't think so, mate. I think you're dead. Congratulations on surviving your first starship assault, Captain. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. You will need to fly close to it before we can access the remains. Right, first I've got to find the uh, wherever the wreckage is. No, don't do that. Okay, we just drove straight into it. Two more Crimson Fleet ships are jumping into our location, Captain. Oh, great. Oi! Do you mind? A little bit of loot, like a little bit of loot. The amount of Crimson Fleet hostility has been far more than anticipated. At this rate, the odds of continual assault from their ships are high enough to jeopardize our mission. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete, a perfect staging area for pirates. Okay, so I open the data menu. Uh, what else did it say? No, I don't want that. Star map. Okay, so travel between the stars, zoom out to see the entire star system, zoom out again to see all the stars in the settled systems, plot a course by selecting the star system you want to travel to, your ship can only jump to so, m so many light years at once, so distant star systems may require you to jump closer to the star first. Okay. Okay, that location is unavailable. But it's saying that's unavailable. Well, so look at the mission. Toggle which quests is tracked on your HD or HUD. Only one quest can be tracked at a time. Select the name of the quest to expand the list of objectives. Select any objectives in the quest to track the whole quest. You can press the set course button to automatically navigate to your active quest objective. Okay, so it says here, so the ones that we've done are ticked green, it says travel to Crete. Okay, 
that's shown resources. I don't want to do that. Okay, if I um, zoom in a bit. This fast travel is currently unavailable to that point. Why? Ah, there we go. Let's try going over here. Um, try going over here. Set course to Crete. Yes, please. Right, we'll travel to Crete. Ah, oh, it's got auto saving as well, which is good. No, don't shoot at it, you donut. Okay, open the data thing. Star map. Okay, the planet of the planet view of star map gives you information about the environment, lets you scan pro projects, planets for resources, and helps you to discover key landing sites. Rotate the planet until you create a research lab map icon is in view on the select. Okay. But we'll scan, we'll scan while we're here as well. There we go. Yeah, we'll land there. So yeah, this is going to be an alright game, to be honest with you. I'm actually starting to enjoy this. Okay, so we're here on the planet. Okay, well, uh, exit this bit. Now we'll take a walk. Okay, we're exiting the ship. Oh, hello. Hello. Right, where do you want us to go now? Right, okay, it wants us to go down here. The scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. Okay, we won't shoot it, we won't shoot at you. Put the gun away. Just having a look round as well. Hey, Picture jump. Alien creatures are often unpredictable. Uh, hello? Hello? Okay, scan creatures, minerals, and plants. Each unique item scanned progresses your survey data of the planet. Complete service data can be sold for credits. The scanner can or can, scanner mode also unlocks additional features such as Building our posts and using social skills like diplomacy and intimidation. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go back up here. Oi! Oh, hello. Bloody hell! You made me freaking jump. No, put the gun away. 
No, put that away as well. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, let me just jump out of that. Put that away. Uh, what are you shooting at? Keep wanting to press A for the, uh... Right, hang on. A to scan. It seems the enemy has vanished. Okay, it's not scanning that. It's not scanning that either. Um. Okay, I can't find anything up there. In the area has ceased. Thank you. Right, take the take the scanner off. Come on, robot. I wanted to scan it. Cray, we've reached Crete Research Lab. Yay! Jump up in the air. Open. Open sesame. I say, I could come... I could come back and stream this again. I really could. Curious. These are United Colonies markings. But we are in Freestar Collective space. Right, a note. We'll take the note. No, not the pen, not the coffee mug. facility. Uh, what? Right, hang on. Yeah, I'm not just going to pick random items up because it's not really needed. Oh, hello. Yeah, we'll go to the first aid box. You always need first aid items. There we go. Anything in here to pick up? No, not that I can see. Hello. What's that? Food tray? No, we don't want that. Oi! Your health is low. Use a med pack by pressing down or down and then A. You can also use med packs by opening your inventory by pressing that button, select the inventory and then navigate to aid. Oi! Don't you mind. Thank you. Okay, we're going to have to use the med pack again. Right, thank you. Was there another guy? Was there another guy around? Hello. Yeah, there was. I'll take everything off him as well. No, don't do that. Let's go to inventory. 
Okay, so we've got that gun, that gun, and we've got an axe. Alright, do you know what? We're going to switch to that gun. Anything in there? No, new items. Okay, it shows what new items we've got in there. Nothing in there. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, ammo and all that sort of thing. Nope. Open the doors. Thank you very much. So I know I should have gone into cover. I know that. Anything in here? Anything in here that's useful? Locker. Oi, do you mind getting out of the way a second? A folder. Wipe spill. Wipe spill. No. Pencil case, no. What's that? Uh, nothing. Anything in here? We've got. D oh, uh. Golden Pyramid Subculture, no. No. Uh, I think I just picked up something that I don't literally need. Oh, for God's sake. Don't want a notebook. Okay, nothing in there. Hello. Aha, first... Uh, is that first aid kit? Yes, it is. I will take that. Thank you very much. Anything in here? Anything of use? Hopefully anything random we just pick up, you can actually uh, take it somewhere and sell it. Okay, can't go in that door. Aha, first aid kit. Thank you. Okay, we've got a found an ammo case and another ammo case down there. Thank you very much. Uh, something red just came up then. What's this over here? Nothing. Lockers. Tissues. No, thank you. Oi! I'm just going to dive in here quickly. Excuse me, I'm yours. I don't think so. Someone just ran at me, like, with an explo an explody thing. Alright, I'm going to have to find another first aid kit. I think you just... Nope, can't go that way. Um... Can we take that pirate out? Or pirate? Or war? Okay, we just uh, acquired a purple item. Please. Aha, so you can run up to them and actually hit them.
That's good, we just found the first aid kit. Excellent! Oi! You, get round there and shoot. What are you doing? Go round there and shoot. Shush. We're gonna have to check. We're gonna have to change the weapon. A viable option. You feel terrible. How do you think I feel? You are trying to kill me, but I. No, I am not trying to kill you. So I'm gonna have to change the weapon again. Um Do you know what? Let's use let's just use the cutter for now. See if that does anything. Where have you where have you gone? Uh coffee mug. No thank you. Haha. <laughs> yes, thank you. Shush. Is there a first aid kit in here? Not that I can see. <coughs> At least we're working through it, that's the main thing. Come on, this way. <coughs> right, I believe we're, <coughs> I believe we're gonna hit more enemies. Uh, have I gone the right way? Captain Annabel, protocol indicates. Yeah, shut up a second. I thought I saw a first aid kit then. Okay, uh, filling in open slots in every layer to unopen the lock. Select the key and rotate it until the lines line up. With the gaps for security layer, slot the keys in the filled gaps. Each kill can only be used once. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, I miss I'm missing Right, hang on a second.
Okay, so we've just got to have some more ammo. I oh, just leveled up to level two. Yippee! So that's my first lock pick I've just done. Oh, whoa, 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 hello. Oi! Start off. Thank you. Annoying thing. Okay, so we've got another one of these to do. in there. Okay, can't go in there. Okay, I tried to get in the safe, but couldn't get in the safe, so I think... Bear with me a second. Oh no, you see, we weren't really after Barrett. We're after that ship. Every Crimson Fleet rook hears about the frontier. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot from a hundred planets. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. I'm going to need to cover. Ah! Did not want to do that, you stupid thing. Damage registered. No, not that. Ow. Ah, oh, Bill of Baggins. Hopefully, it just loads us back to where we was again. Right, do you know what? We're gonna switch and go. I believe I've only got four bullets left on that. You gotta be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold dead hands? Oh, <laughs> no. You see, maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. 
That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot from a hundred planets. And it's going to be ours. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons. But the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. If he were here, Barrett would say he was proud of you for asking that. The answer is no. You're not talking us out of this score. To persuade a person you need to make a successful choice, choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. Each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater chances the choice fails. But the more points you earn will succeed. You have a limited number of choices you can make, but you can never fail if you if your last choice succeeds. Sure. You... you mean that, don't you? You really haven't found anything on board? Nobody wants that. Can't believe this. There isn't any treasure? We've been trailing that old Constellation ship for nothing? Get out of here. Take your robot and your ship and get out of here. I see you all again. You're dead. We should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference. Yep. There we go. We got through that without a firefight. Yay! So what we want to do is go to the star map. Select missions in the bottom section. Missions. Yeah, we'll jump there. Starship Frontier, this is United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Thank you. Don't do that. Go to star map. Star map, you donut. Yep, we'll land. Here we are, we're landing. Right, there we go. So 
so yeah, I think what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to exit the ship. Hopefully it auto-saves when they auto-saves, uh, auto, auto the ship. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, there we go, guys. So that is my first look at Starfield. I say, I will be streaming this again during the week, because it looks so good to play, actually. So, yeah, there's two games I'm going to do during the week. Now, Starfield and New Atlantis. Oh, sorry, New Atlantis? No. Let's try again. So, yeah, Starfield and Call of the Wild, the Angler, I'm going to read. I'm going to do it again. But, yeah, I say, there we go. Uh, yeah, like I say, guys, this game is only available on Steam, Xbox Series X, and Xbox Series S. It's not available on any other platform, as far as I am aware. But if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But, yeah, like I say, if you want... Um, oh, yeah, and it's also available on Game Pass as well. But, yeah, it's available on Game Pass, guys, from the 6th of September 2023 so yeah if you want the um, standard edition guys it's 69.99 that's free that's pre-order right now and the digital premium edition is 99.99 and the stand the digital edition for upgrade for the standard edition is 34.99 but if you've got it on game pass it's 31.49 so there we go. So yeah. I'd say it's been an enjoyable game, guys. I have enjoyed what I have played and all that sort of thing. So yeah. But yeah, there we go, guys. I say I will put my all my socials down below. I'll put the link to this game down below as well, guys, so you guys can go and grab it for yourselves. But yeah, so I say guys, I'll be back streaming this next week at some point. I say there will be no stream tomorrow on Monday, guys. There'll be no stream at all. But yeah, there we go, guys. That is everything from me. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Stay safe, stay happy, and I will catch you guys in the next one.